River State Governor Nisam Wike has advised the federal government not to politicize the implementation of the alternative livelihood component of the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, recommendations on the Ogoni cleanup. Plus TV Africa was at Katsi call to the governor by Minister of Environment in Port Harcourt. Receiving the minister at the government house, Governor Yasom Wike said River State is ready to partner with the Federal Ministry of Environment and Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project to improve the living condition of the Ogoni people after years of environmental degradation. Speaking on the rollout 5,000 needs assessment firms distributed across Ogoni, the governor urged the federal government and particularly members of the Hype Rep Board, who are of Ogoni extraction, to ensure the scheme is not politicized. They should be able to check what are, these names they said are from Ogoni, are they really from uh, Ogoni? You have talked about 5,000 use for needs assessment today. 5,000 years for from four communities is not uh, easy. So there should be a way to cross-check these names. Whether they are really from the... Everything should not be politicized. Everything should not be politicized. Because when, we, when you sit in Abuja, without you knowing too, is what they give you is what you will take. But again, let the state government also know. See what you are doing so that tomorrow, uh, one will say yes, uh, in course of what you're doing, I'm aware that you are trying to empower 400 women for agriculture. I'm aware. Earlier, the Minister of Environment, Dr. Muhammad Mahmoud Abubakar, explained he was in the state for the flag off of six water supply project sites in Ogoni, owned by the state government for the purpose of providing portable water to Ogoni communities. In order to improve the people's livelihood and discourage the youth from engaging in criminal activities such as illegal refining, today we launch the rollout of 5,000 needs assessment forms to be distributed across the four local government areas of Ogoni land. This, apart from complementing your effort in creating jobs, will also help to identify the appropriate skills for youth women and men that can be developed to provide more alternative livelihood to the people of Ogoni land. Governor Wiki advised the federal government to prioritize a word of clean up contracts to competent Ogoni contractors as a means of empowering them. In the implementation of the recommendations contained in the UNEP report for alternative livelihood for Ogoni women who are to be trained in agribusiness at Shanghai Farms in River State, the governor suggested that the federal government should ensure that those scheduled for the training are real indigents of Ogoni. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.